Well, guys, um, the cable doesn't look bad, so I'm going to go ahead and one thing I'm going to do is measure it with the other one and see if it's the same size. And also, and yet again, you can see that the new one, as you can see, if you stretch them all out together, here's these two together, and I'm just going to pull them straight through and keep pulling. And as you can see, the new one is about a half inch shorter. I hope you can see that. Let's see if I can put my hand back there. So the new one is about a half inch shorter. So with this one here, I'll probably need to buy a whole new tube because this cable that I got ordered out of the 2005 replacement cable doesn't is a half inch too short the same problem I had with my other scooter maybe it might be the source of where I'm getting the cables also but what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put the old cable back in and find out why the speedo is not working possibly it came loose up on the bottom of the instrument panel I'm gonna check that next So now that I know that the cable's good, I'm going to go ahead and reassemble this. Kind of odd that it's short for this one too. So I don't know what's going on with that. And if it doesn't go all the way in, you just twist it a little bit. It should be about that, that much. And if you see this little groove here, it has to line up with a little groove inside there. Might need to turn the tire or something to get it to go all the way in. That's it. It's in. So I'll reassemble this and I'm going to take it apart up on the top behind the instrument panel and see if it came loose up there. That's the only other place unless the actual speedo or the instrument is not working properly. What we're going to do now is we're going to get after, check out the back of the instrument panel. And what we need to do is take out this screw here on both sides. We got to use a little screwdriver in here and pop the little clip here and pop a little clip up here so that these two separate. And then there's some screws right up here on the top that need to come out. Something you need to be aware of is when you pull these two screws out the plastic here is hooked around a round riser so it's very difficult to get this front plastic off that round riser you need a little hook tool just so you know when you're doing this that you're gonna run into those problems and you don't break this little hook here and you be careful about the little tabbies but I'll go through that uh, I'll try to go through that well, I've taken this apart. I've got the camera in a position. I'll start over. Well, I have it all apart. As you saw, I took the front off and I immediately saw the problem. And what we're going to do is we're going to identify it. As you remember the instrument panel I had earlier and where it hooks up to, if you can see that, that's where it hooks up to. Right there. And if you look down here below, down here in the bottom, you can see the cable. So basically the cable rattled loose and came, came off, and I thought it was the uh, cable actually had snapped and ordered a new, or had another cable around here, and we went through that. So what I'm going to do is just pull this up in there line it up it's a little difficult 